Hey guys, today we're doing uh, exp solving exponential equations. We're also going to do some log equations. Uh, so first with exponentials, our goal is to isolate, which means get the uh, exponent by itself, the base with the exponent by itself. Then we're going to do natural log both sides. Uh, you could do any log. Natural logs just my recommendation here. And then we'll be able to move the exponent to the front of the log because that's a property that we went over in our last notes. We'll make it be the coefficient, and then we'll just solve it out. So this first one, 7 to the power 3x. First step, just natural log both sides. So we're going to rewrite this as natural log 7 to the 3x equals natural log 20. Then the exponents can get moved to the front, make it be a coefficient. So that's 3x natural log 7 equals natural log of 20. And we're solving. We're trying to get x all by itself, so that means we're dividing everything else. We want to leave the x and divide everything else. So we have to divide by 3 natural log 7. So the 3 cancels, natural log 7 cancels, we get x equals natural log 20 over 3 natural log 7. You can leave your answer this way, um, or you can do a little bit more with it just to practice and refresh some of those other steps. Uh, you can look at these coefficients here, 1 over 3. And then we would have natural log 20 over natural log 7. Just rewriting this to make it a little more obvious. Natural log 20 over natural log 7, that is our change of base formula that we used the other day. So we could have this rewritten as 1 third. Natural log 20 over natural log 7 would be the same thing as log base 7 of 20. If you wanted to rewrite that as just one log instead of a fraction, either way would be okay. Um, so this here in green is a correct answer. Also, if we would have stopped up here in our purple color, that would also be correct. Typically, you just stop right here and not go through the extra steps, but just want you to recognize it. All right. Uh, remember, first step was to isolate, so we first have to add this 2 to the other side. Step 2, natural log both sides. Just squeeze it in there. Now we can move our exponents to the front, so that's x plus 3. It's now our coefficient. Keep it in parentheses, though, because we want to keep that group together. And now we want to solve this out. So we're trying to solve for x. Um, you can, you have two options here. You can, since we have parentheses and multiplication, you can distribute, or you could solve it as is, which means you can divide by natural log 20. And again, that would be a change of base uh, formula. We could rewrite that if we wanted to. If we re rewrote that, that would be log, 20 would be the base, 15. So these are two ways of writing the same problem now. 
And then to finish it off, we just have to subtract 3 to get x by itself. No matter which way you solved it out. So either answer is okay. Natural log 15 over natural log 20 minus 3 or log base 20 of 15 and then subtract 3 from the whole thing. Both of these are correct. Alright, same steps. Isolate, so add the 3. Natural log both sides. Exponents to the front. And then we're dividing by everything except for the x. So divide by negative 2, natural log 13. So x equals... And then once again, we've done this each time, we'll keep going. This natural log 11 over natural log 13 could be rewritten as log base 13 of 11. And then the negative 2 that was in the denominator, you could either just say it's all over negative 2, or you could say negative 1 half in front. So those are both correct, either way. Same process, we're going to isolate, so divide by 5. Then natural log both sides. Exponents to the front. We have another log property we can apply here. Since we have division, we could rewrite that as a subtraction of two logs. And then we're dividing by everything except for the x. Divide by 2, divide by natural log 3. Could write that as one big fraction or separate like I did. And then like we've done before, we can write these as different logs. We could stop right there also. But we can write these as log base three since the denominator is three. This would be one half log base three of twenty-one minus one half again log base 3, because the denominator is 3, of 5. Either way. Alright, this one's a little bit harder. Uh, same process, though. Natural log both sides. We can move our exponents to the front again. This time we get to do it on both sides, though. Now, this time, we I mentioned it before, uh, this time we have to distribute. That's the only way we're going to be able to get x's by themselves. So we distribute the natural log 3, 
Yeah. Now, everything that has an X, we need to move to the left. So we get the all the terms of the X on one side. And now we have X is common on both of those terms, so we're going to factor it out. And then to get X by itself, we just have to divide by these parentheses here. So our final answer then, x equals natural log 3 over natural log 4 minus 2 natural log 3. And you can stop there. There's a couple properties you could do here, like subtraction could be condensed to division and things like that. Um, doesn't really get much more of a clean way of writing it, though, so we just end up with fractions, which looks kind of weird. So I'll stop there. So now we're going to do the same type of thing, uh, different, a little bit different steps because it's solving log equations instead of exponential equations. Now we're going to start with a log. So the first thing is make sure we only have one logarithm in the equation. And then we will rewrite it as exponential form. Remember, the base is the base, answer is the exponent, and then we'll solve it out. And we do need to remember to check for extraneous solutions here. So we only have one log. We're going to rewrite it. The base, since there's no base written, is base 10. And now we're going to rewrite it as an exponent. So the base is the base. Answer is the exponent equals 3x plus 1. 10 to the 5th, we're going to subtract 1 and then divide by 3 to solve this out. 10 to the 5th just means 5 zeros. Subtract 1 means... five nines and then divide by three we get x equals five threes three 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 now we do need to check for extraneous but the reason we're checking for extraneous is logs you're not allowed to have a zero or a negative in there that's it so when we plug in 33,000, we're not getting zero or a negative, so it's okay. That's really all you're doing is checking to make sure that you're not getting a zero or negative. All right, again, condense this time before anything else. So subtraction, we are going to condense to division. base, since it's not specified, it is a 10, and now we're going to rewrite it as an exponent, base to the exponent, 10 to the negative 2 equals 6 over 3x. Ten to the negative 2, 10 squared is 100, since it's negative, it's 1 over 100. And we'll cross multiply, so 1 times 3x, 6 times 100, so we got x equals 200. And then we're checking to make sure that when we plug it in, we don't get a 0 or a negative in the log. So this log is good, we'll plug it in there, we don't get 0, we get 600, so that's good. It's not zero, it's not negative.
Same idea, we need to condense these, um, but they are on opposite sides, so let's first make them be on the same side. And now it's subtraction, so we can condense that to division. Base is not written, so that means it's a 10. And now we're going to change it to an exponent, 10 to the first power. And we'll finish this off. We'll solve it out. Um, again, cross multiply like the last time. We'll just make it both be fractions. So x minus 2 gets multiplied by 10. And then 1 times 7x plus 1. Distribute. Now we're going to solve, so get all of our x's together. And divide by 3, we get x equals 7. So we're going to take that answer, we're going to check it, make sure it's not extraneous. Plug in 7, we get 49 plus 1 is 50. Not 0, not negative, so that's good. Plug in 7, we get 5. Not 0, not negative, so it's good. So x equals 7. Uh, this one, it's actually a shortcut since it's just with log equals log. There's no other numbers. They can just cancel out on both sides, just cancel it out. So we got 20 equals 7 minus x. So we have 13 equals negative x, so x equals negative 13. We have to check, make sure it doesn't create zeros or negatives in the log. So on the left we're good. 7 minus negative 13 would be 20. Positive 20, also good. Same idea, log, same log, base 3, base 3. That's all there is, so they cancel out. So let's get our x's together. So we get 4x equals 0. So x equals 0. Now when we plug in 0, we have to make sure we don't get a 0 or a negative in the log. So we plug in 0, we get 0 minus 2 is negative 2. That right there breaks it. That's not allowed. So this x equals 0 is not a good solution. It's extraneous. Doesn't count. We've got to throw it away. Which means there's really no solution. Alright, so this one we're going to have to combine a couple of things that we've done. This is plus. We can combine addition to make it be a multiplication. So that's log base 7. And we can multiply that negative x times 4. And then kind of like those last ones we've done, um, log equals log, same log, so we can cancel. 
we have negative 4x equals 23. Divide by negative 4. And we get x equals, it doesn't really reduce, you could change it to a decimal or a mixed number if you wanted to. I'll just leave it, doesn't matter to me. So we need to check, make sure that when we plug that in, we don't get a negative number or zero when we plug it into log. Uh, so the only place where we plug it in is right here. And it's just negative x. So when you plug in negative times negative, it makes positive, so it's good to go. All right, this one gets a little trickier because it has an x squared in it. Again, the base is not written, so it's 10. So now we'll convert it to an exponent, like we did a few problems ago. 10 to the first equals x squared minus x minus 10. And now we just need to solve this out. A little bit harder. Um, not too bad, though. So subtract 10. And it is factorable now. Uh, negative 5, positive 4. Which means x equals positive 5, x equals negative 4. And we need to plug those in to make sure um, that they work. No zeros, no negatives. So plug in 5, we get 25. Minus 5 is 20. Minus 10 is 10, so this one's good. Plug in negative 4, we get 16. Minus negative 4. So 16 plus 4 is 20. 20 minus 10 is 10. Uh, positive 10, so that one's good too. They both work. We didn't get a zero, we didn't get a negative. Last one. Let's uh, do what we've done before. Combine these two that are on the same side. Addition combines to multiplication. Now we have log equals log, and they're the same log. They're both natural log, so they cancel. So x plus 2 equals 2x. And I'll solve it out. x equals 2. When we plug that in, 2 plus 2 is 4. Positive, it's good. Plug into 2, that's positive, that's good. So it works. That's it. Just follow those steps. Um, and make sure you check for extraneous solutions with the log problems. Not allowed to be zero or negative. It has to be a positive inside the log. That's it. Leave your comments, leave your questions, and I'll see you next time.